Okay, welcome back. Um, hopefully you have taken time between last video and this video to uh, better articulate God's story and to get it in your mind to be able to know how you can do an elevator speech of God's story. Um, creation, God created, He created everything perfect, um, but brokenness came into the world when Adam and Eve took of the fruit that they weren't called to take from and brokenness entered into the world which caused Jesus to, to have the need to come and to redeem our brokenness. And whenever He came and died on the cross and was buried and rose again on the third day, he then gave us His Holy Spirit to live in us so that we can actually be the Ecclesia to be representatives of Him in this world. That's a one, two, three, four, five type of deal, right? Now we're going to also apply those five words to our story. So here is my story worksheet found on page 30 and on. Uh, we, we've done the same thing where we've given you enough space for you to write this out. Again, respect the process, don't rush the process. Slow yourself down enough to be able to think this stuff through. Some of the questions that we have for you when it comes to your own story is, when and where were you born? Were you, were you uh, born in a Christian home or not a Christian home? What's the faith journey of your parents? Um, list five to ten high points in your childhood that had an impact on who you became uh, as an, uh, an adult or an older uh, teenager or whatever uh, age you may be at the time. And then look at the brokenness. Answer these questions. When did you first realize the difference between right and wrong? How has sin affected your life and belief system as you've grown older? Um, list five to ten low points in your life that are an effect of the brokenness in the world. Go through all of these questions and answer these questions. That's the purpose of that. In the next video, we're going to be looking at our message and we're going to be looking at how to storyboard our message. I'm going to give you an example of that by actually storyboarding a little bit of my message. So you're going to learn a little bit about me, hear a little bit of my story through that experience. But right now, again, this is a necessary time for you to be able to not move from this video to the next video without first taking the time to write out and articulate your story. We've already looked at God's story. Now it's time to look at our story so that we can then combine those two together to make our message. When we make our message, that's our way of being able to communicate God's story with our very own voice and voices. And that's when it gets really exciting, okay? So at this time, between now and the next video, be sure that you fully understand God's story. Take the time to write out your story and then let's come back in this next video and talk about how we can combine those two stories to be our message.